During the early Roman Empire, Christianity was looked down upon, and various Roman officials aimed to persecute Christians. As Christianity spread through the Roman Empire, it came into ideological conflict with the Romans and the imperial cult of Rome. This is where the Romans would in fact worship their own emperors. Christians on the one hand believed that the practices of the Romans were heretical and theologically wrong, and the Romans believed that Jesus and the Christian tradition was attempting to undermine the Roman worldview and Roman power. In this video, we will be looking at the early Christian persecutions under the reigns of the emperors Nero and Domitian. You're watching All Things History. When discussing this topic, it is important to define persecutions, and we can understand this as hostility and ill-treatment, especially because of race, political, or religious beliefs. In this context, the Romans treated the Christians with hostility as a result of their religious beliefs and growing political importance. The first major Christian persecutions happened during the reign of Nero, during the years 54 to 68 AD. Nero blames the Christians for the Great Fire of Rome in 64, which destroyed portions of the city and economically devastated the Roman population. The Great Fire of Rome was an urban fire that occurred in July AD 64. The fire began in the merchant shops around Rome's chariot stadium, the Circus Maximus, on the 9th of the 19th of July. Many historians believe that Nero may have started the fire himself and intended to blame it on the Christians who at the time were despised for unspecified crimes. The Roman historian Tacitus tells us that the Roman authorities arrested a great number of Christians who were charged with hatred for humanity. As a result, they were sentenced to death and the Christians were torn to pieces by dogs crucified and incinerated like torches to provide illumination after dark. These persecutions took place in the gardens of Nero, which contained a hippodrome. Here, the emperor paraded himself as a charioteer while the Christians were being persecuted. Other Roman sources, such as Suetonius, tell us that Nero executed the Christians under a suspicion with limited evidence. Other Christian sources suggest that the Paul, the Apostle and Peter both died during this Neronian persecution, and we know from the Acts of Paul that Paul was beheaded under Nero. Historians note that the persecutions against Paul and Peter may not be directly linked to the fires of Rome, but rather a broader pogrom on the Christian community in Rome. Christian persecution continued into the reign of Domitian, who reigned during the years 81 and 96 AD. Interestingly enough, the Christian tradition describes the Emperor Domitian as Little Nero, suggesting that he followed the same line of persecutions against the Christians. The Greek historian Eusebius tells us that a great many number of Christians suffered martyrdom under Domitian, and one of the victims was Flavia Domitilia, who was banished to the island of Pontia for her alleged witness to Christ. There is some uncertainty to this claim, as the historian Cassius Dio explains that she was accused of atheism. From the Roman perspective, someone was an atheist if they did not adhere to the Roman imperial cult, sort of suggesting that this was the only religious practice that could be acceptable in the empire. During the reign of Domitian, a poll tax was introduced on the Jews, and Jewish Christians were included in it too. Roman sources tell us that this tax was enforced with extreme severity and it had been imposed on the Jews by the Emperor Vespasian after the destruction of the Jerusalem Temple in the year 70. Now this tax was designed to finance the Roman cult and this is a very common across Roman practice. Suetonius, the same source, also tells us that the poll tax was targeted to those who lived in a Jewish way of life and the Christians were put into that category, regardless of their diversion away from Judaism, which actually brought out the Christian tradition. Historians are unsure on whether these persecutions, also known as the poll tax, 
ended during the reign of Domitian or under the reign of Domitian's successor, Nerva. But that brings us to the end of the video on early Christian persecutions in the Roman Empire. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment and subscribe, it really helps me out a lot.